Okay guys, so in this video, we're gonna take a look at the Supreme Duo unofficial retro pie image for Raspberry Pi 4B. Uh, I was looking around over on Reddit the other day on the SBC Gaming uh, subreddit and I found uh, this. I was looking for a retro pie or something to install on a Raspberry Pi 4 to make a video. And while I was doing that, I actually found um, this Supreme Duo release and uh, it's a beast to download. Uh, the link is in the, uh, in the subreddit post. I will link to that in the description down below. Um, but it's about a nine gig download. When you extract it, it's like 19 or 20 gigs. So you're gonna need a 32 or 64 gig uh, micro SD card to make this work. So uh, when you get in here, once it's all loaded up, like you can see now, um, you can see that it's got things like Amiga and Sinclair and eMachine and Steam. Uh, this Steam link's actually pretty cool. We will take a look at that. Uh, there's also obviously Super Nintendo in there, Scrum VM, uh, Residual VM, PlayStation, uh, some ports. Pixel, Pixel is actually a desktop. Like it's the full um, like raspy and desktop that you can go in and do stuff like launch certain games, uh, run updates, do uh, stuff in the terminal. That's all there as well. Um, N64, Mega Drive. Um, but you know what? Let's go ahead and start with Dreamcast here and uh, see how it does uh, with Virtua Fighter 3TB. So we'll give this a second to load. You can see that when each of these different systems loads, it changes the background to kind of uh, give it a theme about that particular console. And I dig that they did that. Um, I, I don't think it's worth a 19 gig download configuration setup or whatever, but I guess that's going to be um, kind of a user by user preference thing there. Um, but everything seems to be loading here really well. Um, so we'll get into here and uh, see how the game runs. I'm really garbage at these fighting games. My hands cramp up on me and I'm just I'm making excuses probably. But um, but yeah, see, like I'm just I'm just no good at any any of these types of games, but I still enjoy playing them. Um, overall, I think it's loading pretty well. Uh, there doesn't seem to be any perceivable lag uh, or anything like that. All right, so that went better than expected. Um, but again, no, no perceivable lag. Everything seemed to be all right. Let's go take a look uh, at something else here. Um, let's go take a look at Mega Drive. Let's see what we've got in here. Uh, let's try Mortal Kombat, because again, it's kind of one of those fast paced uh, types of games. So let's see how it does. She um, just kind of walked all over me there. But uh, all that being said, uh, everything's loading uh, really well. There's no perceivable lag, no stutters, nothing like that. I, I wasn't able to get um, like the FPS up on the screen. Um, it just seems that certain uh, certain emulators just won't do it and I can't figure out how to get it done on here. Um, so, I mean, there's that, but, well, there you go. Let's see what else uh, we've got. Um, I'll tell you what, let's take a look at Sonic 3D Blast. I pushed the wrong button. Um, I played this in one of my previous videos. Um, so I expect it will run just fine, but let's give it a go and see. Right. Oh yeah, ju just like I expected here. Um, very smooth, um, no stutter or perceived frame drops or any of that kind of thing. Um, this looks and feels really good. Um, let's...
So you can see things are loading kind of strangely there in the back. Oh, and it's choppy and slow to respond. Uh, definitely not, not a great experience here. Um, yeah, this is, oops, this is actually pretty awful. Yeah, just absolutely awful. Definitely don't recommend playing this. So let's give Tony Hawk uh, a quick go on this and see how it does. So let's give it a go and see how, how we do, how things feel. I mean, maybe... Um, oh, come on. There we go. Um, definitely a lot less lag. This actually feels pretty good. Um, compared to uh, the Yoshi game we were just looking at. Um, this feels a lot closer to uh, how it was when I was playing it on uh, the PS2. So yeah, overall feels feels pretty good. Um, again, I'm just not great at these, but uh, the, the emulator uh, runs it pretty well. Um, no, no real uh, major lag or anything like that. Uh, maybe a little, um, maybe a little, but not too bad. So yeah, um, does pretty well, all things considered, I think. All right, let's go back. Um, let's see if I can get... Uh, where are you? Steam. Let's see if we can get Steam to, uh, to load up here. I may have to finagle some stuff, but we're going to give it a go. Okay, so there I found everything. Connection's good. There's my computer. Everything looks good. So we'll start playing. The heck? Oh, that's right. The buttons switch. So like you're using the B button to get through everything. And then once you get to that screen, then in order to move forward, you got to press the A button instead of the B button. So uh, I, that's that screws me up almost every time. So let's see if I can keep it from screwing me up this time. Start playing. There we go. Now we're talking, okay, cool. So now we're in steam mode. So the buttons will be just like normal. Uh, so I tell you what, let's um, let's take a look at Watch Dogs. Um, and I only wanted to look at Watch Dogs because it is kind of a slower paced game where you're just kind of running around and interacting with the environment. Uh, whereas something like Soul Calibur or, uh, you know, like a CSGO or a Fortnite or something like that, uh, where it requires you to be uh, very fast. Uh, those kind of games wouldn't be good for this because there is a bit of a delay um, when you're streaming with a Steam link. So uh, it works, but it's not good for certain types of games. Also, there doesn't appear to be any audio going on here. That's probably a setting that I missed somewhere, but uh, we can take a look, see how the game looks, how it reacts, that kind of thing, um, and uh, go from there. Yeah, definitely a little bit of input lag as I'm moving the camera around. I mean, everything looks good, um, but there is there is a definite uh, little bit of um, oh, game crashed. Um, that that's an anomaly. I've been doing this kind of off and on. Uh, the game crash here is definitely my system. It's not uh, the Raspberry Pi. It's not Steam Link. This is definitely uh, on my computer's end. So uh, let me fix this, and then we'll come right back. Okay, we'll try this again. I didn't worry about the audio. Mostly I just wanted to get some gameplay in. Um, I think audio is kind of the least of our concerns as far as that's concerned uh, while I'm recording anyway. I mean, obviously you'd want audio while you're uh, playing if you're doing a stream thing or a stream link thing here. But uh, I think um, I think we can uh, kind of get an idea of what the video quality and responsiveness will be like here. All right, so here we are back in the game. Uh, everything looks really, really good. Um, definitely no complaints about the uh, the video quality or anything like that. Um, <clears throat> again, we don't have any audio uh, to see what that sounds like, but I think it's probably fine. Uh, there is some, like I mentioned earlier, a little bit of uh, perceived lag here, uh, you know, as I move the camera left and right, that sort of thing. Uh, there, there's definitely probably a quarter second or so, maybe not a quarter second, maybe, th 20 or 30 milliseconds, I don't know, of, of lag as far as uh, the camera movement's concerned. Um, which definitely makes aiming uh, more difficult. Um, but, um, but everything seems to be working uh, just as we would want it to. So um, definitely 
very cool that Steam Link uh, is uh, is on here and works, uh, and it's built in. Like I really dig that Steam Link is built in and ready to go. So let's go back and see if we can uh, tell you what. Let's see if we can get out of here. Quit. Uh, yep. <clears throat> Quit and yes. Oops, come on. I'm going to uh, stop remote play. Uh, I'm going to go back. Let's see if I can. There we go. See, and now our audio is back. So there's definitely something wrong with my Steam Link um, setup there. That's definitely on my end. Um, so yeah, there's. Oops, there's nothing in there. Um, Tell you what, let's let's take a look at a PlayStation game. We got Tony Hawk Pro Skater. Oops, press the wrong buttons again. Let's try a PlayStation game here. Uh, this is going to be PS1 and see how it goes. Oh, let's do uh, let's do a single session. Sure, let's use Tony Hawk. It's his game, right? So we're just going to zip through this. We're just going to select whatever's there. We'll let this load and, uh, yeah. Oof. Man. I always loved playing this game, but I was always really garbage at it. Oof. But uh, this one, this one actually seems to load and run even better uh, than it did when we were playing on the other system. Uh, oops, <clears throat> let's get my... Damn. All right, so uh, obviously not very good at these old games. Um, yeah, but uh, the buttons, uh, like there, there's no perceivable lag or stutter or any of that kind of thing. The rumble pack actually works. So as I'm doing things, um, like I when, when I run over like this, my rumble pack, or my, my, my Xbox 360 controller uh, works or, or rumbles just like it should. Uh, everything there is great. Like I'm rumbling now in the water. Uh, this is all really, really good stuff. Oof. Anyway, this is going well. So uh, let's go see if there's anything else we want to take a look at here. I really think the last thing to take a look at here is going to be um, the where is it? P Pixel, that one. Let's take a look at Pixel here. This way we can kind of show you uh, what the desktop environment looks like. Um, you know, they've got uh, got this in here. We may as well take a look. And of course, in order to use this, uh, you will need a mouse and keyboard uh, plugged in uh, to the USB ports on your Raspberry Pi. Um, but it is there. This is this is what it looks like. Uh, you've got your terminal, you've got Etcher built in, um, you know, like Counter-Strike. Tell you what, let's actually just run Counter-Strike from the desktop here um, just to see how it does. Uh, we're just going to click Execute there. We'll give that there. That's great. We'll go, we'll create a game. Um, yeah, we're going to say done. It's going to start a local server. And then, then you can see how bad I am at this game too. Uh, I'm not sure about audio on this. I actually haven't. Uh, oh, it looks like we will have audio. So that's good. Awesome. Um, let's do, oh, I guess let's be a terrorist. Uh, confirm. Sure, why not? Oh, my controllers don't work. That's weird. I don't know what's going on there. Maybe, I bet it's a mouse and keyboard game. I bet, yeah, it sure is, I bet. Yep, there we go. I'm even worse at mouse and keyboard games than I am at uh, Xbox or at, at controller games. So uh, let's see. I don't even know if he's on my team, probably. Um, but this, I mean, this, there's there's no lag on this at all. So, uh, so that's pretty cool. Uh, 
Nothing. No. Ah, oh, he got me. Anyway, like I said, I'm garbage at these games too, but uh, the game works. Everything there is great. Uh, so let's uh, <laughs> let's see if we can't. Um, maybe Alt F4. There we go. So Alt F4 works. So you can Alt F4 out of games. Um, but like I said, there's you know there's other stuff in here. Full fledged desktop. It's got all of the stuff in here. Um, I've already run like you know sudo up. Um, app update and upgrade. So all of this stuff on here is, um, uh, it's all updated and ready to go. Everything here is good. Let's, uh, let's see what this does. Let's execute that. Maybe, maybe that'll fix the uh, other issue I was having. Okay, guys, so there you go. There is Supreme Duo, the unofficial release for Raspberry Pi 4. Uh, again, I will have links to everything in the description where you can go find this on Reddit. So um, let me know in the comments what you think about this. Is it worth a 19 gig install or a 10 gig download? Uh, is it worth all that for the for the aesthetic, kind of the interface you get? Um, or is there more to it that maybe I missed? Definitely leave uh, any of that in the comment section down below. Um, if there's any games you'd like to see me uh, do in, in future uh, videos like this. Uh, leave that in the comment section below as well. I would really appreciate that. But with all that being said, I think I'm going to go ahead and wrap this up. As always, thanks for your time. I always appreciate your support, and I'll talk to you in the next video.